Fire you onto the scrap heap and walk down the road with your label, with your job, your livelihood. It can't, it's just not acceptable. Um, at the moment, our, 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 our people are in negotiations with the company, and we are sitting inside. We're there, there a week and a half now. We're sitting down inside a week and a half. Um, the local community uh, on the Saturday after we, after we um, occupied the place, Saturday night, people started delivering stuff to us, food, uh, mattresses, whatever. Uh, on, on, on Saturday morning, the local bakers turned up with bread, uh, dairy with milk, uh, poultry farmer with eggs, people supplying meat. There's a, actually a restaurant facility, so if you're ever going to have a sitting, make sure you have a restaurant facility uh, within the office, and we're able to use it to, to look after the food. Um, the, um, the amount of support we're getting from the local community is just unbelievable. On, on the Saturday evening, 3,000 people turned up outside the factory in the lashing rain. It was a re one of those really bad days, standing on, under umbrellas for, for, uh, to, to give us a bit of support. The last, well, last Wednesday, we had a, a, um, a protest in, in Waterford. Over 8,000 people turned up, factories closed, ta shops closed, taxi drivers stopped uh, uh, driving to, to come out and support us. Now, we're under no illusions. These fellas are, are in the driving seat, and we're just going to have to be dogged. I don't know how we're going to end up, but I do know this. From what they were giving us on Friday the 29th, which was basically statutory and good luck, they've already wanted to top the statutory by 25%. Um, they already said, instead of saying there's no jobs in Waterford, they're saying there'll be 260 jobs in Waterford. Uh, there's a second company come in saying that they stay in Waterford for 10 years. Um, we had trouble with our pension, uh, uh, which was uh, because the, the company was gone, the pension was in, becoming insolvent. It's uh, similar to the problems you have here. But uh, the Irish government, uh, there was a directive in 1983 in, in the EU on uh, um, protection for uh, pension funds that become insolvent. Uh, all of Europe, except Holland, Britain and Ireland, uh, uh, refused to implement it. The Dutch gave up at, at some stage. A group of workers from Wales uh, who lost their jobs in 2002 took on a case uh, and went all the way to the European Court of Justice and the, uh, after they came back from the European Court of Justice the British government agreed to, to, uh, to, 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 to protect our pensions. We were the last one left. But we had no protection last Friday week but when we sat in and we're still in there it's now starting to develop that people are starting to do things for, for our pension. Basically, I, I just finished like this. We don't have a lot in terms of uh, uh, arms or, or going out to, 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 to looking for trouble with people. Most of our people just want to get on with our lives, uh, have a good, a good life, enjoy our family, friends and, and, and community. But you have these greedy bastards Absolutely. that walk along and walk into factories all over the world, not just in Ireland. We've had fellas bringing Turkish workers to Ireland, pain and pittance. Uh, they were exposed on it and had to change it, had to pay in pop, proper rates. Same things are happening in this country. But unless the trade union movement gets up off its knees and starts to stand up and fight back against these people, we're all in trouble. In, uh, just to finish on this, in, in Ireland at the moment, uh, we had a, um, a construction bubble that was great for the developers, great for the bankers, okay for the builders to build and work still, they've done well on it for a while. It busts. Because they tried to build an economy based on the minimum wage, mi mi the minimum wage, by bringing in foreign workers, and I'm nothing against them. Don't get me wrong. That, uh, uh, just in case you think it, well, they, they were used yeah. by the employers to force down wages that were in Ireland, and then the same employers were selling houses for inflated prices with loans from the banks. And what have the government done to bail out the banks? They've given them billions out of, out of our national pension fund and t told us we can't have anything. It just doesn't add up, and people are pissed with it, people are angry, public service workers are angry, they're making pay levies on their pension, it's just not on. Comrades, thank you for having us.